Today's meditation is on John chapter 3. Jesus performed many miracles during his ministry here on earth. These miraculous signs were evidence that God was with him. He came to teach us about the kingdom of God and about the spiritual rebirth that would give us entrance to that kingdom. I have been reborn, baptized both by water and by the Spirit. Humans can only reproduce human life, but I have been reborn spiritually. I was spiritually dead because of sin, but now I am spiritually alive because of the Holy Spirit. No one has gone to heaven and returned to the earth, but Jesus came down from heaven to save me. Just as Moses lifted the bronze serpent on the pole in the wilderness so the children of Israel could live, so was Jesus lifted up on the cross so that I could have eternal life by believing in him. I will fix my gaze on him alone and not my circumstances. He is my salvation, both for this world and for eternity. God loved me so much, he gave his one and only Son so I could believe in him and not perish but have eternal life. I cannot fathom the depth of his love. I cannot imagine the cost of his sacrifice. Although I deserved harsh judgment and death as the wages of my sin, Jesus did not come to judge me, but to save me through him. He took my place in the courtroom. He paid my price, and now there is no judgment against me because I believe in him. But anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only Son. God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it, for fear their sins will be exposed. But I was drawn to the light, and now others can see that I am doing what God wants. I reflect God's light into the darkness. I can't receive anything unless God gives it from heaven. He must become greater and greater, and I must become less and less. Jesus testified about what he had seen and heard. I accept his testimony and can affirm that God is true. Jesus was sent by God. He spoke God's words, for God gave him the Spirit without limit. Father God loves his Son and has put everything into his hands. I believe in Jesus, and I have eternal life. He doesn't condemn me for anything I have or haven't done. I have been forgiven, redeemed, and made whole. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.